Friday, the 22nd of March, 2024. Welcome to another edition of Nat's News. I'll be running through the main headlines of the weeks and the most ridiculous stories, of course. Where shall we start? Cyber attack, panic, ah! Well, that's what some people have been saying anyway. Uh, this is about IT failures and outages. Uh, we've got a story from the Telegraph here. Urgent review launched into payment failures at Sainsbury's and Greg's stores. It's the fourth major retailer in five days to be hit by outages. Others were at McDonald's, Tesco and Sainsbury's. Do I think we all need to be scared and there's a big cyber attack and, and there's going to be we're losing the internet? No, I just think that will happen with digital and technology. It's always going to have issues. It's why we need another payment method to continue. Cash is king. Use it or lose it. If you don't want to move to a cashless society, then keep going to the cash point and keep supporting local businesses. What's next along on the agenda? Well, Leo Varadka has gone. I won't be shedding a tear for him. What does it say in the BBC? It says Varadka. Radka steps down for personal and political reasons. My favourite uh, headline in the Telegraph was, Farewell, Leo Faradka. No one will miss you. Wherever may lie behind the decision, Ireland's Taoiseach has plenty to resign over. The Spectator says, How it all went wrong for Leo Faradka. And he's, well, I would say another one bites the dust. All of the UK leaders who put in the draconian measures over COVID, they're all gone now. Boris, off he went. Sturgeon, she's gone too. Mark Dravecourt, gone as well. And don't forget, you know, across the pond as well, Jacinda Ahern, Dan Andrews, they're gone. Somehow though, Biden, Trudeau and Macron, they're all kind of staying for the time being at least. But it does feel like rats leaving the sinking ship, doesn't it? And uh, maybe, though, have they been taking orders from others to leave? Or do they just want to abscond from any accountability? And moving from one rat to another, Owen Jones this week. Good old Owen Jones, our favourite from Twitter. He's made a big announcement and he's quit the Labour Party after 24 years. I'm only sorry that he wasn't coming out and saying that he was quitting social media for good. I'm afraid our week isn't that positive. I can't give that good news for you. Uh, and we're going to stay, stick today on a rat theme. This one from the Daily Fail. We love a bit of fear mongering. If it's not over a virus or it's not over a cyber attack or it's not over concrete, they're, they're going to be scaring you about something. And uh, this week it says how to stop a rat infestation knocking a fifth off the value of your home. Britain is warned a plague of vermin will invade this spring. And uh, it also says mutant rats growing up to three feet long are going to be uh, possibly coming onto your house. So be careful of rats. And we'll keep the rat theme going because uh, we're going to talk about Kurt Starmer next. Um, and it says here again in the Daily Fail, he refuses seven times, seven times to deny taking drugs while studying to be a high flying lawyer. And uh, I picked this particular story up because I like the uh, best comment the most. And it said, oh, sweet Jesus, can you imagine Starmer on drugs that could possibly give him a personality. Do you know what? Even a bunch of uh, drugs, Mandy, Charlie, I don't think anybody's going to give that man a personality. And he's also uh, in the papers today saying uh, he leads the call for Nike to change the St. George Cross on England's kickback to red. Lee Anderson among those to blast Nike's playful update to England flag, calling it virtue signalling Namby Pamby woke nonsense. So what do you think of it? Go and have a look at the picture. This is on the 
back of the new Nike t-shirt. So rather than just a plain red St. George cross, uh, it's progressive. Uh, they've made it with different colors. There's blue, there's purple. My answer to this, guys, if you're normally someone that goes out and buys it, just don't go out and buy it. Make a stand. They did that with my beloved Caramac. People stopped buying it and it got discontinued. So the best way to show your opinion on this, if you don't like it, don't go and buy it. Just like electric vehicles, people have stopped buying them and that's the way forward in my opinion. And now, I couldn't get away from this one. I don't wanna talk about it. You're making me talk about it. The mainstream media are making me talk about it. And that's the point that I wanna make. You know, people are still asking, where's Kate? But it is all over the mainstream media, guys. Literally, I've got a story here. Kate's hacking mystery. Data watchdog launches urgent probe into hospital where princess was treated after staff tried to access her medical files. It's every day. She's still top of the papers. And I know there are still conspiracies going around. If they didn't want us talking about her, there wouldn't be any stories about her in the papers and they're all headlines. Nothing is a coincidence. They're literally wanting us to talk about her. I think if something bad had happened to her, we wouldn't be seeing her name in the papers at all. That's how the mainstream media works. Maybe she had some botched plastic surgery and she can't show her face. Maybe she's struggling with an eating disorder. Maybe she did just have an operation. Maybe she just wants a break. Maybe Will's had an affair. Maybe Maybe, maybe, maybe. You know what? Let's just wait and see if she turns up at Easter, please, and stop with all the conspiracies because you're making us look stupid. That's my opinion on that one as well. And to finish on such a positive note, I wanted to say Easter bank holiday showers are expected after a week of wet weather. I thought I'd end it on a really positive note from Sky News. Showers are expected over the Easter bank holiday following a week of wet weather across parts of the four country, forecasters have said. So yeah, happy Friday, happy Easter when it comes. We'll see if Kate turns up or not, and then we can really uh, get going with all the new stories. But yeah, we've got more rain, more rain, more bad weather. So if anybody remembers good old Anna Breeze, uh, well, she was given an interview over the weekend. It's been all over my timeline. And for this comment alone, uh, she calls herself now. Like Jill Dando with a Twitter account. Like Jill Dando with a Twitter account. Jill Dando with a Twitter account. Happy Friday. Have a good one.